Hi guys, OMG Vapes back again for another review and this time we're going to be taking a look at the Ares MTL RTA by Inican, P. Besado and the Vaping Greek. So guys, here we go with the Ares MTL RTA. This is a collaboration from Inican, P. Besado and the Vaping Greek. You should know who they are by now. Now I picked this up from eCigueros for $31.99. Now let's talk about eCigueros for a minute. Guys I wholeheartedly suggest you do not use this website. It is a Chinese dropshipping company posing as a UK based warehouse. Now I purchased an Aries MTL, uh, a pair of wire cutters and a geek vape build map. It took eight days for them to arrive and when the order did come the geek vape build map was an Inican iTaste X clearinizer. At the L they can mix up an Inican iTaste clearinizer with a geek vape build map is beyond me. But not only that the messaging I've been having with them and the customer service is just diabolical. So I suggest you do not use this website. I will certainly never use them again. So just a word of warning guys, it's out there. Now on to specs for this RTA. It's a 24mm RTA with a GTA style single core deck. It holds 4ml of liquid or 2ml if you get the elusive TPD version. It has fully adjustable airflow with an assortment of different size holes and it comes in silver and black finishes. Now first and foremost we're going to have a vape. I've got the Aries sitting on the Puma 200 watt. I've got one of the stock coil, pre-built coils in there. It's opening at 1.07 and I've got it at 15 watts. And the juice I'm using in this is my usual RY4 mix, my DIY mix. So, let's have a vape. Very nice, very, very nice. So, without further ado, we're going to dive down to the close cam. I'm going to show you the packaging, what you get in the box, and all that good shit. So let's go. So here we go with the packaging for the Aries MTL RTA. Dimitri's signature. Bill Bissardo's signature. packaging you also get a baggie containing some wire, cotton and a couple of pre-made coils. Clearly marked on the back. You also get a bag containing some spare o-rings, white, green and black and a spare drip tip. This is the stock one, I have the spare one in the tank at the minute so you also get this bag containing some tools, spare deck screws, you got Phil's build tool and Dimitri's build tool and a screwdriver. Dimitri's does spare scores with like the screw head on the end and Phil's is just like a standard 2.5mm and a 3mm size bit. Also clearly marked on the back. Very nice touch. Also in the packaging you get this thank you card with Phil and Dimitri's signature on and on the back it's got a QR code which takes you to their website or to the Indican website where there's, where there's quite an extensive array of instructional videos on how to build WIC and some potential issues with the tank you can have. So get over there and check them out if you're new to vaping. 
and to also get the Aries MTL RTA user manual. Not very big, just a basic sheet showing you how to build stuff like that. Just to break down the tank and how to wick, how to wick it and stuff and fill it. And here's the star of the show, the Aries MTL RTA. Start with the top. You got your 510 drip tip. This is the spare one that comes in the package, which I absolutely love. So I'm using that one. On the top, you got this arrow, and it says push to fill. So you push that, and it opens up generous fill port. Very big able to uh, accommodate any size drip bottle or glass bottle tip or anything like that very good very nice touch got a nice click to it sound like a, it's got like a ball bearing underneath so it's, it rolls on that bearing and it also clicks into place very nice there's your top cap with Indican engraved Got your glass, this is a tinted one. I'm not only using this for aesthetic purposes, but I have no choice as the stock glass broke, which I'll get to get onto in a minute. On the bottom, you got your airflow ring, you got five holes for your airflow. You can either have them all open at once, or you can use this little hole here. This little hole, and uh, just have one open at a time. I normally rock it on that smallest hole there, and that does me. To get to your deck, you unscrew the, the button. Now I'm not going to take this glass off because the tolerances on my glass are absolutely tight and I don't want to try and pull it off for fear of breaking it. As you can see, I broke, I broke the stock one. Trying to get it off. It took me th over 30 minutes to try and get it off. Trying to be as gentle as possible and it still broke. It was just welded on there so just be careful of that guys if you get one like that just remember you'll probably end up breaking it but you need to come off for cleaning so just be aware of that it's got to be a con for me because I can only use it with the black glass now as soon as the clear ones broke and here we go with the deck for the Aries MTR GTA style, as you can see, it's raised off the base. All stainless steel. You got your perforated airflow in the middle. It's a simple single core deck. Drop your coiling, screwing from the sides. Drop your wicks down in these channels. This has also got the addition of these little dams either side of the airflow and what that does it lifts off your cotton from the airflow stops leaking we've all had that RTA what leaks and you just can't find out where it's coming from and then you realize your wicking is touching the airflow and that's where the, look, the leaking comes from very nice on the bottom you got Aries MTL RTA and Indican 
and you get this squeezing like so Line it up and then you drip tip goes in the top and there she is the Aries MTL RT8 now this is 24mm in diameter and 42.5 from the top to the bottom not including the drip tip or the 510 so we're going to readjust the camera and I'm going to put a build in this. So sit tight. And we return. So guys, what do I think about this RTA? Well let's start with the pros. Pro number one is the build quality and the fit and finish. It's absolutely astounding on this tank as you'd expect from Inican, but it does seem like there was somebody in the background, obviously Phil and Dimitri, picking at the little finer details to make this tank absolutely pucker in quality. Second pro is the packaging. The packaging is absolutely extensive. You get an array of stuff in the packaging like wire, cotton, coils, build tools, screwdrivers, you name it, it's in there. Along with the nice touches that Dimmy 
and felt are put in there with the little art and the brown man stuff very nice you really really get a feel that a lot of love has gone into this RTA let's have another bag now let's talk about the airflow because the airflow is one of the biggest things on this tank controversial and you know it's one of them but in my opinion I'm not going to give it a con or I'm not going to give it a pro because it is a little bit on the loose side for me for an MTL tank but on the other hand I'm getting one hell of a throated the throaty I'm getting with this juice I'm using is absolutely astounding it's smooth defined and punchy which is what I like so although the airflow is a little on the loose side the throat it definitely makes up for it for me so I'm gonna have to give it one of them a thumbs in the middle another thumbs up another thumbs down but one of them now cons I couldn't find any cons on this device until I tried to take the glass off for cleaning the tolerances on my glass on this tank are absolutely tight it took me forever and a day to try and get the glass off trying to be as gentle as possible and inevitably it broke so I've got no choice now but to use the tinted glass and even this one I'm struggling to get on and off so it's got to be a con it's not only this tank there is quite a few RTAs coming out lately with the top o-ring sealed to the glass and it just makes it awkward for people to get off so it's got to be put down as a con now there's one more big pro that everyone should be concentrating on and that this the old platform concept is got to be a pro for me because basically Dimitri and Phil have made this tank to be aimed towards a smoker transitioning to vaping now I personally think that is what everyone should be concentrating on because getting smokers to vape is the reason why we all do this so in that respect I've got to give this tank a big thumbs up I've got to give this tank the seal of approval because if I can even get 100 even 100 smokers across the vaping by endorsing this tank then that is an achievement and that is something I am personally happy with so I've got to give it a thumbs up and that's it for the review guys as always thanks for watching if you think I've earned your subscription then click that button below and don't forget to click the bell for notifications of upcoming releases and to everyone out there have a happy new year be safe don't get too pissed but have a good new year so guys that's it from me hope you enjoyed it I'll catch you on the next one and remember smoking kills choose life see you guys